What's going on? And welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last part, we did World 4. This is where we're going to do World 5, which is pretty self explanatory. Now, if you use a P when you're in the level, you can get a secret and just end the stage. But, like, I'm just going to do the stage normally. I'm going to save the P wings and use them when I really need them. Because, like, cause like, a lot of these stages, I can screw up 86 times. 87 times, actually, because there's uh, zero lives in this game. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get the star. We do. We're gonna get that many lives, so we are simultaneously running out of opportunities as the worlds go on. Um, should I test my memory? Yeah, let's just do it. We didn't do it on wall four. I think the one up was right here. Yeah, it was. All right, we're getting our memory back. But that was twenty coins. This was 10 coins. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, we got past this board. And let's just, uh, let's just use a star to clear up inventory space. Now, uh, let's just, uh, there's a shortcut to being this level. Normal way is much harder, but if you can get the shortcut and not get hit by a Koopa. You get in the secret area, which it still ends the stage. Can we get those three stars? Yeah! We're almost at 99 lives! We were gonna get it at some point. We get even we get another card game. I think it's every eighty thousand points that decides. I already have one level four. Let's just skip that. We don't need it. Plus, I don't want to fill up inventory space with book views for like Tanuki suits right here. This this tower house is a guaranteed Tanuki suit. The later on you get in the game, the better items you start getting in the Toad houses. Even like the Hammer Brothers too. We're we'll into the fortress. This is an optional fortress, but like I still recommend doing it if you're not 100 percent in this, because if you game over and beat the if you beat this fortress, then game over, which again I kinda of feel sorry if you do, but like uh if you beat this fortress then game over, you'll get you'll get a bridge that you won't get in this fortress. I think uh there might be something up there if you fly. I don't know. I, it's been a while since so I've done this day. Actually, I, I did this yesterday. What are you talking? What am I talking about? I did a practice play through literally yesterday as I'm recording this, and I'm probably recording this like maybe a week and a half in advance. Because like I have, a, I have, a, I have those remaining major. As I'm recording this, I have those remaining Majora's Mask videos when you posted. Well, I say that will I die? Let's just use. Let's just use a mushroom. We're not gonna go ludicrous with the frog suit. And we lose, we lose the, uh, of course we lose the, uh, I think there's another chance to get, not, no. Nope, I shouldn't have opened my big fat mouth. Now we gotta do this the hard way. Cause we gotta get this thing down. That's the thing, that's the hard thing in this, same spot I died. Exact same spot. If I'm going to get on a leap, I will say that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're not going to lose that. We're not going to lose that, uh... That leaf. All 
right. We got past that one spot, and it, it was it was right behind the it was right near, before boom boom. So that's double insult. I like when I'm back to boom boom, like lasting like five seconds, because like that was an embarrassing boom boom fight back in World Four. So yeah, if you game over and beat this fortress, you can just bridge right there. Right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it eventually. No, we are never going to get the slots. We're even also we're also running out of opportunities. And star. We're just gonna use a star just for the fuck the the yeah, hell of it. Actually, I have never once tried this before. We're gonna enter a frog suit in a stage three. I've never tried this before. Are you sure I can't enter the okay, I can enter the pipe. I have never tried this before. We're gonna see if it works. We're gonna try to put in the frogs. We're gonna try to put in the frog suit with the Goomba shoe. Look at this, it just works the same way, just wearing a frog suit. <laughs> I've never tried this before. It's like uh I never I don't think I've ever seen this before. Now here's the thing about the the Goomba shoe in the Japanese version. In the Japanese version, if you get hit with the Goomba shoe, you just go back to small Mario. Not in the international version, they changed that. Thank God we're not playing the Jap version. The Jap version? <laughs> what am I thinking? The Japanese version. And you lost the uh, Goomba shoe with anyone not playing the heavy room. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the frog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna lose the uh, thing on purpose because I still want to run and get the star, and it's hard with the frog suit. Frog suit's just good to use for the novelty, nothing else. And we got a star. And this this one should have the P wing, I think. And I lose the flower. Hey, it has a P wing. We have like six P wings now. Anyway, so. Interesting thing about this stage, this, this game does have a two-player mode. If I recall correctly, this is the only stage in the game that requires both players to play. Really one player or two player, really if you're playing co-op mode, like anyone, either player can do any stage, but like, this is the only stage in the whole game where both players have to complete this level or the, uh, the other player gets stuck in this level and the one player completes the world. But yeah, only stage to play in co-op, we can, both players have to play in co-op mode. Mario 1's co-op mode is, uh, not very good. Like, uh, let's just say it's arcades out, the player just takes turns with levels. So, like, even if you're, like, in, like, you, one player could be, like, in 8-4, and, like, the second player is, like, in 1-1. One, one. It's, like, a really weird co-op mode. Now we're in the second part of this world. This is the uh, cloud lap part. The cloud part. This is the sky. Or actually, it's Skyland. It depends on what version you're playing, which I'll get to that later. Oh, you only find that when you, when you overall beat the game. This stage is mad easy if you have a raccoon suit. I, as much as I love the cape in Sumar World, like, there are definitely stages you can skip if you have the raccoon suit as well. Alright, here we go. We're going to, uh, I think the uh, Toad House up there is a game to do. Let's check our inventory. Now, I think this level, you can get a Tanuki suit. I think it's this pipe right here. Yeah, you can get, you can get a Tanuki suit in this pipe. 
And I'm going to lose it to, like, the first anime. That's typically how my luck goes. We got three stars! Yeah! I keep sending any lives. There's two more lives. See if we can complete that. Let's get the mushroom. No. I really can't. It's like the. F it's either the second one or the third one. I can't time. Now, this one here is the future. Now, interesting fact I learned in my practice playthrough of this game you can click start to view your inventory in the Toad House. You can't use any items, but I don't really see this very often. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed thing, so I was wrong. Okay, so now we're gonna go stage six. I think this is the one where, like, you get the, uh, white toad house in. I think, if I remember correctly. Except I've never been able to do it. This is kind of like, these are kind of like, I don't remember what these are called. But they were actually make a turn in uh, the new Super Mario Bros. games. They don't hand you one-ups like they do in the new Super Mario Bros. games. If you think, like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, like, or at least, like, I think another reason I don't think that game is really, don't, doesn't really, hasn't really held up compared to other 2D Mario games. Like, Mario World hands lives like candy, but it still has kind of a challenge to it in a way, like, uh, like, if you save and reset, like, you lose all your lives. And, like, Marvel's DS even doesn't, like, it doesn't totally hand lives like candy. News and Marvel's Wii, you can get, I've been able to get 99 lives in, like, World 2. But yeah, I'm really interested to see how Super Marvel's Wonder plays out. It looks like he uses a lot of the gameplay mechanics from, and, like, some of the things from Odyssey. Alright, here we go. We're gonna use a star to clear up in the space. That this was not exactly the right stage to use a star in. We're gonna use... I have a story uh, regarding someone else's playthrough, like, um... There was a very old Game Grumps playthrough where, like, I think Aaron, I think they did the co-op mode, and, like, Aaron was the one playing this level, like, he, he almost ran out the clock in this level because he was convinced that something was up there with those blocks, and, like, he thought a one-up was up there or something. He almost ran the clock out because of that. And I thought I could jump on that, but I couldn't. That's bad hammer roller RNG, so I like to use a, a leaf and uh what's that fly for the level? Except there's a lack that shows up later. Yeah, this isn't really meant for this isn't really a flying level. I should uh Yeah, yeah. Come on. No, we lost the leaf. Let's turn it to the end of the stage. It, it, it's, it's, it's all. It's like, especially in it's all we got like, near the end of the stage. Because this was before Mario levels had checkpoints. To be fair, the, Mario le the levels in Mario 3 are much shorter than the ones in World. Alright, Fortress Time. Alright, this one's another one with annoying platforming, not only that. Like, um, there's lava on the ceiling. I think if you're playing the All Stars version, like, it's easy to get hit on the. It's either get. It's easier to get hit on the ceiling. That's my collection. I could be wrong. But I thought... I thought I, I... I died right there, but... um, Let's just clear some inventory space. Let's just use a star. And a mushroom. Then, uh... I think I need leaves, but, uh... Maybe this... Wow, what a fucking waste. Okay, no more fucking around. We're gonna... We're just gonna use, like, a, uh... We're just gonna use a leaf. As long as we don't lose the leaf, we should be fine. 
right when I was almost at 99 lives, I had to like die twice on a fortress level. Alright, here we go. Come on. Now Boom Boom is defeated, so uh, as long as we can get a star, I'm gonna screw up and a mushroom, just watch. No, my luck. We'll have to fight the Hammer Brother, because that's all stage- we're doing all stages. I'm gonna get a music box. Let's just use our music boxes to clear inventory space. But we don't need this one. This one either. It also plays different music. I just need to play some, let's just test our lock. No. No. Anyway, so this this is eventually like in the later worlds, like uh, we're gonna see that like uh, the uh, the stages in these levels, like World Six, has the most amount of levels. Like I think I think it goes like up to ten, ten normal stages. But thankfully, we got hit in an area that contains a power up. No lack to respawn. Shit. Oh, okay, so. Eventually, uh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Finally, 99 lives. So actually, instant attack. If you have 99 coins, you get a coin in from one of these things. You normally get six lives in the uh, roulette. That's, uh, it's not something we see very often. I'm just gonna pee wing through this level. Because it's an auto, it's an upwards auto scroller. This will be our first use of the pee wing. The P, not the P wing, but like uh, the P, like uh, I think it's the P A coin. It would make an appearance in uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. <laughs> Nintendo released two New Super Mario Bros. games in the same year, <laughs> like um, and like um, interestingly enough, like um, Miyamoto thinks like New Super Mario Bros. Two is his favorite main series Mario game, and like I actually think that's my least favorite main series Mario game because I think it's like. It's like, it's the same thing like Skyward Tour with Zelda. It's like really like easy and hold handy. It's like not to my liking. And anyway, we're gonna use our anchor. I use it here because if we fail on Roy, it won't move. It has a chance of moving the other. Uh, we don't want. I don't want to have to go to the fort. Go through that fortress again. Yeah, Roy's a big. This is Roy, who is actually based off of Roy Orbison, an early rock and roll musician. But uh, but uh, interestingly enough, like uh, Roy is a big step up in difficulty because he's the first of the Koopalings where he stomps and you get stunned on the ground when he's when you're on the ground and he uh, stomps. Hey, at least we have 99 lives now. I think we, I think we bounced on a uh, camel all the way up there. Could be more. Really exciting commentary. It's like auto scrollers can't give me that much of exciting commentary, and I think I'm gonna fail at this. We have two hits going into Roy. Do it. No! Alright, thank god. We're not doing- yeah, thank god right there. God, Roy's such a bitch. <laughs> anyway, so, uh... Anyway, 
And this is the king, and uh, he looks kind of like... He looks kind of like, what's his name? Um, he looks like Dumbledore. Which I actually, uh, while I was recording this, I just read the actor passed away, which may he rest in peace. So I'm gonna cut off this part of Super Mario 3, so, uh, next time with Super Mario 3, we are going to go to World 6, or do World 6. I'll see you guys next time.